all the not. So that's what I was waiting for. Let me try and re-engage. I'll put a clearer picture up that I've taken with my phone. Auto steer temporarily unavailable, front camera blocked or blinded. So I had a suspicion about that um, in one of my earlier videos where full self-driving suddenly stopped working and, and it asked me to take over. And the issue is that, especially as we get into the winter, with the sun lower on the horizon, it it shoots its light directly at the camera lens. And either unlike the human eye, <laughs> it, I mean, the human eye has an iris, right? It can adjust and we can squint. The pupil can close up and we can kind of handle bright lights and keep going, but these cameras can't do that. Either they're either they have an automatic iris that just can't close enough or you know that's just going to be a limitation with the current hardware and I don't know but it's just another uh, example of something that full self-driving or at least this hardware can't can't or I would say probably just doesn't replicate uh, for a human driver and that's the human eye the ability to your pupils automatically close and you squint your eyes and you can kind of still you know block out enough light to continue these sensors can get overwhelmed by direct sunlight and they have no recourse and full self-driving will turn off so I wonder how that plays out with something like the uh, robo taxi if that comes out right and, and maybe they'll have different designs maybe the cameras will be different automatic irises maybe they have a little bit more distance between the lens and the windshield to provide more shade, but it's it's definitely a limitation. Um, so interesting, I just wanted to catch that on video and I got it.